Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of JoJo's Kitchen. On today's episode, we will be making cocoa and beans. So just take a screenshot of the ingredients and let's go. So we're going to be starting with chopping our onions. Please make sure that when you're cutting, you're cutting away from your body. Major, major tip. Trust me. It will help with the slicing. Chop, 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 chop the onions. I don't know. Like, do you think like, like Ghana moms, like how come they don't tear up when they're cutting the onions? I was tearing. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, let me focus. So, next, we're gonna be cutting our tomatoes. So, as you saw, I'm using a serrated knife. A serrated knife are the knives with the zigzags. And those are actually the knives you should be using when you're cutting soft items like bread and tomatoes and soft fruits. Look, look, just look at how it goes through. Look at how it cut through that tomato. Look, just look at that. That is beautiful. So, drop that in your bowl. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. They was too big. I had to cut those a little bit more. They was too big. It was too big. Chop, chop, chop. Chopping, chopping. Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, crrr. Yeah, so cut them up a bit tinier. I went back and cut the first part because it was too big. So cut them up tiny. Take your time, please. We Ghana food takes time. Do not rush. It's a pandemic. You ain't got nowhere to go. So take your time when you're cooking. Okay, now we got the hot oil. So drop your onions in the hot oil. I always drop a little bit just to check. And then I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Everything's good. We can drop the whole thing. So drop all the onions in there. Here, chop onions. And let it sizzle. Sizzle, sizzling, sizzling. Stir, stir, stir. Okay. So I'm So meanwhile, I'm gonna go and open my can of Jack McCraw. No, I do not have an electric can opener like you guys are lazy. Yeah, just use a manual one. Fine. And I just pour into a bowl because I hate when it's time to put something in and now you're coming to come do, oh, let me open the can. We don't have time for that. So with some chopped onion and some pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, I'm gonna drop that in the blender. Drop, pop. Pop, pop, drop, drop it. A little bit of water and blend. Ooh. 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 Okay, so when this happens, there's not enough water, so I have to add a little bit more water. And now we are in business, baby. Look at that. Ooh, it's just blending. Just blending away. Okay. So when you start seeing the color change to that orange, that's when you know, okay, we're done. We're good. So I'm gonna pour that out into a bowl. I definitely got a spoon to do it, but yeah. Okay. Now we are going. Honestly, you guys, when you're watching these cooking, cooking videos and there's no oil around the, the pot, I'm just like, this is not real. This is what real cooking looks like. Tie into the pot, pour your onion and pepper mix that you blended into the pot. I 
and stir, stir, stir. Once that gets brown, then you're gonna pour the chopped tomatoes in there and let that cook. Stir, stir, stir. And make sure when you're stirring, like your spoon is touching the bottom of the pot. Otherwise, it's gonna burn. Next, I put my Jack McCrow with the sauce and the whole like fish in there. But I didn't, as you can see, like I only like mashed it up a little bit. I didn't cut into super like tiny pieces because as you're stirring, it's gonna be breaking up and you don't want it to break up too early. Stir, let that cook. Now I'm adding my Italian seasoning. This is to taste. Listen, this is Ghana cooking, so I wish I could come up here and tell you guys, oh, tablespoon of this. I just be like, mm, this is how much I want. Pour, yup, stir, stir. That thing was popping. Then I'm gonna add my salt. Salt is to taste too, so in between, I'm tasting what I'm making. Now I'm gonna add my Hunt's tomato sauce. I definitely forgot to put that in the first shot of the ingredients. But you're going to need Hunt's tomato sauce, okay? I'll leave that in the bottom. I'll leave that in the info of the video, all the ingredients that I used. Now, my beans were actually pre-cooked the night before. Because beans be taking long and we don't have time for that. So, my beans were pre-cooked. And literally, all I did was just boil the beans. Like, boil. I just boiled the beans. So, I don't add all the beans at once because you need to gitch. Am I gonna need all these beans that I made? Because one thing, personally, I do not like bean stew that is so, like you can't even pick it up properly. Like, I, not that, I, I like it a bit runny. Like you see the consistency? Yes, yes. So you just gauge how much beans you're gonna add. Yeah. Ooh, it's cooking. You see, you see the red, you see the red oil. That's when you know it, it, it's going well. Keep going, keep stirring. I would say after I put the beans on, maybe another like 20 minutes. So in total, the beans too took about an hour. So now we're gonna move on to our coco, which is ripe plantain. You cut down like the line, open it up, and you cut it on a slant. I cut my coco on a slant when I'm eating with beans because the slant helps you pick up the stew, duh. I do not cut them in little circles because I feel like that's difficult to eat with the stew. So I cut it on a slant. Then I add salt and I put it in the frying pan. Woo! Let that sizzle. Sizzle. As you can see, I don't like super ripe cocoa, like when it's soft. I think it's gross and I think it tastes like you're eating oil. But I know like a lot of people do like that. So if you like your cocoa more soft, that's cool. But personally for me, I like my cocoa hard. <laughs> I like it hard because I just, I'm not trying to chew oil. Like, come on. Like, health is wealth. When it looks like this, you're done. And there you have it, cocoa and beans. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.